Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about magic tea. Magic tea are also known as hybrid tea junction. Hybrid tea junction is different. Hybrid ring is different. Okay, don't confuse. Magic tea is also known as hybrid tea junction. Hybrid tea junction. If it is having a name called ring, that is different. Rat race junction. Hybrid hybrid ring is nothing but rat race junction. Whereas magic tea is different. Magic tea is nothing but it is a combination of both the E field and as well as H field. See this is the waveguide of magic tea junction. Magic tea junction is a combination of both the E arm and as well as H arm. In the previous videos I have explained two different waveguides. One is E plane D junction another one is H plane D junction. E plane T junction is because of the name the third arm is connected in the electric field direction okay suppose if you take this e arm this is the third port in that uh, waveguide this e arm is connected in the direction of electric field generally the direction of electric field is perpendicular to the direction of propagation okay this is the arm a and this is the arm b in our terminology we can take it as first arm second arm and this is third arm and this one is the fourth arm magic t is having four ports magic t is a four port device four port microwave component okay so when the signal is being propagated from one to two that means this is the direction of propagation for this direction the electric field is in the either upward direction or downward direction suppose if it is in the upward direction this will be like this okay now this arm the e arm is connected in the upward direction in the top like this that's why it is e field whereas the magnetic field is always in this direction it is in the circular fashion where it is horizontally spread like this that means this port the third port which is named as h arm is placed in that direction that's why it is h arm it as it is uh, uh, connected in the direction of magnetic field it is known as h arm okay so in this way both the e arm and h arm are connected to the single waveguide to form it as a magic t to form it as a magic t okay so it can magic t consists of magic t consists of both e arm and h arm both e arm and h arm that means it is a combination of, we can say it is a combination of two waveguides like two different waveguide components like e way e plane t junction and as well as h plane t junction to form the characteristics of both e plane and as well as H plane that means whatever the characteristics and applications that we have with respect to e plane t junction the, and h plane t junction that both are applicable with respect to magic t junction okay now the h arm is taken as port 3 e arm is taken as port 4 the most common application The most common application of this <coughs> type of junction is as the mixer as the mixer section of as the mixer section for microwave radar receivers microwave 
radar receivers suppose if you want to mix the signals from two or three antennas then we need to go for the uses of this magic t junction that means it is used to mix the two or more signals coming from different sources or different antennas okay in such cases we have applications applications we have a separate topic there i will discuss what are the different applications associated with respect to this magic t junction now let us see the waveguide this is the waveguide that is generally available in your microwave laboratories this waveguide you might have seen see the direction of waveguide see this is the main waveguide which is having the port 1 and this is port 2 these two are collinear ports as i said in the case of h plane and e plane t junctions these two are collinear ports where we can see the holes from one to another okay if we see from port one we can observe port two and as well as from port two we can observe port three port two port one so port one and port two are collinear ports and whereas port see here this is the direction of what is that e plane junction this is e arm and this one is h arm see the direction it is connected in the narrower side and whereas the e arm is connected in the wider side okay so in order to observe the characteristics of this e arm and h arm uh, suppose if a wave this type of magic is given to you and you don't know what is the e arm and what is the h arm of course he has one and two are collinear ports so you can easily identify as they are one one is opposite to another one you can easily identify which is port one and which is port two but suppose if you have a confusion between these two which is the h arm and which is e arm we have known a property that in the e plane t junction oh, there is a 180 degrees phase shift between one and two ports okay but in h plane t junction there is no phase shift between one and two ports so in such case apply input at this h plane junction okay you don't know what is the port it is so take it as 3 and take it as 4 and this is 1 and this is 2 okay apply a signal from this port 3 now what happens after entering into the junction the signal will go into this one and as well as into this two <coughs> the signals coming out from one and two are same with the same phase same magnitude and as well as same phase there is no change in the phase difference there is no change in the phase between one and two then we can say this is the h arm because there is no difference in phase difference between one and two ports it is a zero degrees phase difference and similarly when you apply input at this e arm nothing but fourth arm that the signal coming out from one and two with the 180 degrees phase shift with equal magnitude equal magnitude but out of phase then we can say that it is the E arm. Okay. So E arm is having 180 degrees phase shift and H arm is having 0 degrees phase shift. In that scenario also we can distinguish which is the E arm and which is the H arm. Now working of E and H plane T junctions. So generally normally E plane suppose if you have taken like a E plane. Suppose if you take E plane alone, then to look at this operation of this magic T waveguide junction, take the example when the signal is applied at E plane. The same what I have explained in the previous video, I am writing here. <coughs> when input is applied at E arm, that will be equally divided into one and two ports with 
180 degrees out of phase and similarly for H plane when input is applied at H arm that will be equally divided into 1 and 2 ports with no phase reference no phase reference that means they are in phase okay that means we can say that is the h arm so in this way we can identify e plane and h plane and the characteristics of e plane disjunction and characteristics of h plane disjunction are mapped are merged here in the case of magic disjunction in the next video i will explain the scattering parameters of this uh, uh, magic t-junction whereas how many scattering parameters now it will be having what is the size of the scattering matrix how to calculate the scattering matrix parameter size that is equal to the size is suppose a scattering matrix size is n by n that n is equal to the number of ports of the waveguide how many ports it has four ports so that's why the size of n is the size of scattering matrix is 4 by 4 n is equal to 4 nothing but 4 by 4 is the size of the scattering matrix that 4 is nothing but that n is nothing but number of ports of the waveguide okay so scattering matrix now it will be having 4 by 4 size <coughs> so we will see the calculation of scattering matrix parameters for this magic t in the next video